All right, guys, I'm about to do a uh, review on the CRKT Key Show. I just want to show you right now, I'm actually wearing it on my side here. I just want to show you that it's not terribly hard to feel. See there? And here it is on the side. So I just want to show you that real quick, and I'm going to have a, uh, a cutting demo for you as well. All right, guys, uh, here's a cutting demo of the CRKT Heat Show. Um, I was going to use a 2-liter bottle, which most people do use, but unfortunately the only one I have is filled with uh, soda right now. So the only thing I had empty was this uh, Turkey Hill iced tea container. So um, it's filled up with water, and I just wanted to give you a quick little demo here on uh, a slash cut through this bottle. So here it is. Actually hit a little bit low on it, you can see here, but perfectly clean slice. There it is, the heat show. All right, guys, uh, I ended up just pouring the uh, uh, soda in a different container just so I can have another shot at this. Uh, I want to try it with this regular two-liter bottle as well. So uh, here we go. Again, same thing. CRKT he show. Let's try to do a slice on an angle here. All right, let's see what I can get. Same deal. I ended up striking well. Um, I think that's just on my on my swing. I just don't have a, a proper technique because obviously I'm aiming a little bit higher here. But as you can see here, wherever it's going to hit, it's just going to slice right through. You have a lot of heft in this blade, it's a lot heavier, it's thicker, and it's very sharp. So obviously with that combination uh, and the nice curvature in the blade here, it's just going to do an awesome job just slicing through whatever you're going to throw at it. So there it is, regular 2 liter bottle as well. Nice clean slice. Alright guys, I want to review this awesome news blade I have. Um, this is the CRKT Hisho. And I want to start the video off, as you saw there, with a little bit of action, some cutting tests to show you the performance of this blade. And it is phenomenal. Um, beautiful looking piece, but also a very, very functional weapon. Um, first I want to talk about the actual designer who designed this knife. Uh, his name is James Williams. Um, he has extensive background history in uh, both the military as well as martial arts. 45 plus years in martial arts uh, experience and training as well as being in the US military uh, in the Army. Um, you can actually go to Columbia River Knife and Tools page here on YouTube. They have their own account and you can see a video of James talking about this knife as well as a couple other uh, knives he designed. And this is actually um, the reason he came up with this design is uh, he had requests from some of our guys and gals overseas uh, who are in the in service uh, who carry the Hisatsu line and they love it but they wanted something bigger and badder you know and, and this is what he came up with this is basically the uh, you know Hisatsu on steroids obviously a couple design tweaks here and there but just like I said a beautiful looking piece as well as performing um, first I want to get some specs out of the way just to give you an idea on size I mean obviously it's a, it's a large knife you can see it in my hand here uh, it's almost almost constitutes a, sh a short sword <laughs> but um, here's some specs uh, the blade's 13 inches long, which is 330 millimeters. Um, the blade, the uh, overall length is 18.38 inches, which is 467 millimeters. Um, the total weight is a little over a pound, 16.4 inches, although extremely, extremely well balanced in the hand. Feels really, really good in the hand. Doesn't feel as if it's a heavy blade, although it is hefty. It's not, it's not lightweight like the Hisatsu. Um, the uh, the blade itself. The blade steel is a YK30. Now YK30 is going to be new to a lot of you guys. Uh, it's new to me as well. Um, but doing some research, it has the same performance and very similar in makeup um, to an 01 uh, tool steel. So it, it, you know, like I said, it's similar in that sense. If you want to give something to uh, to compare it to, because it, it is kind of newer to me. Um, this has a flat grind, but it it also has a convex edge on it. 
So even after today, messing around with it and using it a little bit, all I had to do was uh, give it a, a couple strokes on my strop, and it's back to that beautiful, beautiful factory edge, which is very sharp. This thing comes razor sharp to you, uh, which is awesome. Um, a nice two-tone uh, on that blade. You can see the, the blade stock itself is a mirror polish as opposed to the satin finish on the grinds on both sides. And you can see that mirror polish. My, obviously you can see the camera that I'm filming on and there I am talking. <laughs> There's the tripod. But yeah, beautiful finish on this. The fit and finish, attention to detail is superb. It's, it's pretty much what you would expect um, for the price range. And actually, in my opinion, uh, you know, it's worth even more than what it actually costs. Um, let me talk about price real quick while I'm on the subject. Uh, retail is $325 on this, but of course, you know, internet and street prices uh, are going to be lower. And I found this online between $200 and $250. Um, eBay is a good, good place to find some, uh, some blades. Obviously, you can get them a little cheaper on there. Maybe Amazon.com. Um, obviously, your favorite knife outlet, they might carry it. But like I said, it's averaging between $200 and $250. And I, I definitely have to say, you know, I've experienced um, some similar blades, both in size and styling. Um, that were also production made that were in the three to four hundred four hundred dollar price range, and this is definitely on par, if not better. It's a really really nice attention to detail. Like I said, very very high quality product here. Feels really good. Like I said, you know, just to actually use it, it feels great. Um, but if you wanted to display it, awesome. And speaking of displaying it, here's a beautiful display case that comes with the knife. This is going to come with every single one. Uh, it's got a nice red velvet interior with obviously a molded section that fits the knife perfectly. So you can display this in your, you know, by your cabinet or whatever, wherever you display your knives and swords. The uh, the outside here has the CRKT logo on it. It has uh, Hisho, of course, there to tell you what's in the box. And the translation, uh, Hisho translates to certain victory. And then here's the, the Japanese characters for certain and victory. So very beautiful. Uh, if you didn't know the um, the hisatsu, uh, the word hisatsu translates to certain kill. So a little bit of a spin off, a little play off of that. Um, like I said, it's very similar to the hisatsu in in some ways, just a beefier, you know, bigger version of it, and definitely heftier. Here is the the sheath that comes with it. The sheath you get. I actually put it in there for you. Nice retention, by the way. It doesn't. It does, it's not a real heavy snap. I mean, it snaps in there. It feels good. It, it almost feels like, uh, I don't know if that's enough. But let me tell you, I mean, you really shake this thing vigorously. It's not going anywhere. I promise you that. But the good news is, very easy still to retract out of that sheath. You know, if you need to grab the knife, um, you know, you can grab it and get to it easily. Um, but it's not going to fall out. No way. Um, put the knife aside for a second here and show you this just the sheath. A lot of carry options on this. You're not going to fall short of uh, how am I going to carry this. <laughs> um, obviously a lot of eyelets here. You can use paracord or tech locks, a combination thereof. Um, you also get this piece that, that's already attached to it when you, when you get the sheath um, that has a spot here for uh, you know belt carry. You can carry this horizontally or vertically any, any way in between. Uh, lefty or righty you can just flop this thing to the other side if you wanted to uh, for left, left side carry. You also have a quick, quick release uh, snap here, or not snap, a uh, buckle, and you can use this and actually web this through your your Molly gear on your, on your packs or backpacks, uh, maybe your tactical vest, and if you need to get that off real quick, you have a quick release there as well. So awesome sheath that comes with it, very sturdy, very high quality as well, just really nice. And of course, the knife itself just. It really speaks for itself. Very well balanced. Obviously a Japanese style knife if you haven't already caught on. <laughs> um, the markings on the blade here, you have Columbia River Knife and Tool logo. Then again you have those two Japanese characters which stand for Certain Victory. On the reverse side it has the, the model name, Hisho. And then the bottom right, real small, has the, uh, the model number for Columbia River Knife and Tool. And that is 2910. That's just the, uh, the model number here. The handle has that very traditional uh, Japanese wrap, like you would see on a katana or wakasashi. It has the uh, the ray skin underlay as well, very traditional. One thing you might notice on this sword is that there's no suba 
or guard. Okay, there's a reason for that. Uh, James wanted to keep this knife, obviously, to be used by our soldiers. You want to keep it as slick and slim as possible. And by not having a suba on there, it really does fill the role. It's not overly, um, you know, chunky in the middle or anything. So, that, that is a purposeful uh, design feature, is not having a suba. All you have here is the, um, the collar or fuchi. So, yeah, but it's meant to be like that. It's not like it's missing something. Beautiful piece. It is full tang. If I didn't already mention it before, one solid piece of steel here. Just really nice. Again, just feels really good in the hand. Love to do you know, some more cutting demos. And in the future, I would like to do some more uh, cutting demos with this. Maybe some cardboard tubing or something. It just feels really good. So, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys know, you know men or women uh, going out to serve in Afghanistan, getting shipped out, or, you know... Um, going out for service this would also make an excellent excellent gift for them uh, just like I said a beautiful piece a lot of the guys and girls over there uh, are very excited to get this because like I said they do carry the Hisatsus and they just want a little bit of an upgrade uh, obviously they don't rely on a blade for their their main weapon they their main weapon is a rifle uh, many of them transition from a rifle to a pistol if you know let's say the rifle jams they run out of ammo but after the rifle and after the pistol there's always a blade somewhere in the mix and if you need a blade, this is definitely a good one to have. This will lop off an arm. And it's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of heft behind this. You put a little bit of muscle into your swing, and it's going to cut through anything you want it to. Um, by the way, this is a weapon. This is not a utility knife. This is not the blade you take out into the woods to process wood for a campfire. It's not a batani knife. It's not a utility knife. It's not something you open boxes with. <laughs> this is strictly uh, a weapon. And, but like I said, very, very effective at that role. So the CRKT uh, He Show, beautiful piece, highly recommended for collectors or anyone who's interested in Japanese blades. Um, I definitely think you'll like it. It's very, very nice. So once again, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I did a little HD action this time, so I gave you a little bit more detail. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for watching. Take care.